Hello friends, welcome to Elango Notes. In this tutorial, you will learn how to read the file contents line by line with the help of the shell script. So watch this video fully for clear understanding. Now we will move to video. So this is a basic search for reading file contents line by line. The step one is the file can be read using the while loop with the help of the read command because read command only read the file contents line by line. So here the input actually will be taken at the end of the while loop with the help of the input read action operator less than symbol. So the input read action operator less than will take the input from file or some other object instead of the keyboard input. And this is a general syntax of while loop. First while is a reserved word and do done. So within the do done you just write your user if in code. So for that uh, we need for additional syntax that is a file syntax of while loop because our target is how to read the file contents line by line with the help of the while loop. So just use while after that just use the read command and followed by user defined name so here you can give any name then follow the do done block and here you will get the input with the help of the listen followed by file name so within the do done you just write a code now i will show the demo so this is the online replet id so with this id support nearly 50 plus languages so within windows you can write your linux code so click the new file and save the file with the dot sh extension. Now we can start a shell script. Just underline. Here option E allows you can use the escape letters like slash and slash t. Okay, then next one. The first step is get the file name from user. No, no. So just use the while loop. Ah, yes. First step is get the file name from user. Enter the file name. So if you use a static input, you can directly attach with the help of the while loop. So read followed by file name. Now process the logic while followed by read command followed by user defined variable. So you can give any variable ld then do then. So at the end of the while loop, you need to attach the input file. The input file is already get it is using help of the read and command. So dollar f and so here you need to give the valid input. Now with the help of the read command, the read command actually read the file content through this input redirection operator. So it will read the file contents so one by one. Or simply you can give ld. That's all. Now. So this is a sample input to test. So just to run bash space file name dot sh. So enter the file. So this is a valid file. So you can get the line by line data. You can manually check it. So in this video you learned you learned how how to read file contents line by line through the while loop so thanks for watching the video